Look at this. I think I'll get this cut. Much better. Actually, hold on one second. Alright. I've been so busy with fish lately, I haven't gotten a haircut for like in months. So, this feels great. Let's get going. I got a lot of stuff for us to check out today. Everybody, it's fish full Friday. That means new fish. I'm gonna keep on trying to do this as long as I have tank space. I actually don't have tank space right now, but as long as I have tank space and uh, income. We're gonna go to a place called Alpha Pro Pets. Now, they are the ones that got me back into fish, but technically it wasn't fish. They had shrimp, and this was five years ago. Uh, the owner of the store is named Cameron, but it's a very, very cool shop, and uh, he's very personable, so let's go check it out. Red spot near eyes, pea puffers. A couple of cherry shrimp, some Thai micro crabs. Oh, some blue dreams today. Dwarf marble lobster. Let's see if we can get some blue dreams on video tape here. Of course, I don't see any. Red Rayleigh's, I see some, uh, looks like Celestial Prodanios. Some literally, really, really tiny ones. Three for 25. Some yellow fires. Really cool. Gold claw crab and some tannin water. A marble blue shirax. Hey, didn't I just buy one of these guys? He is not in here. Some white crayfish. A lot of new stuff, Cameron. Pretty cool. That's business for sure. <laughs> Obi Red Empress. ACIs. Stripe Tetras. There's some guppies. Albino quarries. Electric blue dam seeds. We got the Emperor Tetra back there. Really cool. Oily Raspora? I don't believe I've ever heard of them. I heard of Harlequin Raspora. These are really colorful. I need a better look at these. Oh, look at that. Is that a killifish? He's not shy. Another kiwi. Beautiful male right there. Pair for thirty nine ninety nine. section. Oh, 
lot of nice cichlids here. The leopard longfins. Tomas and I. It's one of my favorites. But very, very aggressive. Got a nice little flower horn here. These are usually his quarantine tanks. Tin foil barbs, tiger barbs, red platies, Daniel scissor tails. Short and anxious, you might like that one. Gouramis, giant Danios, always schooling. Electric blue Acaras, some Bichers, Rachel O'Leary's favorite. Some Heckleys or Heckles. Green puffers. Oh, lungfish. Check him out. He's been here for quite a while. Oh, that's a bad looking dude. Trophius Dubasai. Beautiful fish. I believe the spotting goes away uh, when they become older. Electric Blue Jahanis. More Demosanis. I used to call them Demosani. I have no idea. Electric Blue Peacock. Tank Raised. I'm not even gonna try to say that. Sokolofi. Sokolofi. Durian red points. Compressips. Compressiceps. Not sure how to say that. I think Bob from uh, Steam Pod Aquatics, he loves those. OB peacocks. Up there we have some discus. Rockrobenses. Glow light tetras. Jacob red peacocks. Look at those eyes, they just stare into your soul. Oscar. Terrors. Fire mounts, pink convicts, bumblebees. Some pearl danios, not the celestials. some rainbows in here. Golden Achilles. Iridescence. Jack Dempsey's. Oscars. Or 
cichlids. That's a big one. There he goes. Some red tail sharks. Serpe tetras. Look at this big boy. Large striped Raphael. Some black tetras. Peacocks. Malawi eye bites. Uh, red zebras. Black ruby barbs. Apache peacock. That sounds cool. Red claw crabs. A lot of duckweed. Awesome. Shoulder Severums. Here's some Provences. Always some cheap fish. $4.99 each. Looks like more cichlids. Frontosa. <laughs> Tangerine liar tail mollies. That's a pretty cool mollies. Oh, look at these endlers. Blade, they're blue snake skins. Very cool. some of those home today. White clouds, beautiful fish. Cherry barbs, always some good contrast to some tanks, especially when you got some plants in there. I really like these guys. The idiots, the whisker shrimp. Really, really big. Aren't they cool? Bushy plecos, long thin blue eyed bushy plecos. Very cool looking guys right there. Look at those long fins. Those are called the thread fin rainbows. Blood 
Ben Tetras. Have some CPOs in here. Sub cloning crawfish. Planet tanks, plants for sale. Val Rotala, the usual. Some more. Six or seven years ago. Yep, that's why you got, got me into back to the hobby five years ago. <laughs> uh, and then after that, we've had this well, the whole floor up here was just not being used. Yeah, you guys had me coming down and stairs, <laughs> open the door. <laughs> so, over like the last six years while I was working for him, I was also redoing all the flooring, all the walls, all the drywall, setting up all the tanks just right. to get ready to open up a store because I knew I wanted to do retail again. Okay. Uh, and then basically, fish is where my heart is, so I keep, obviously, a lot more fish than anything yeah, else in this yeah. store. So in the end, you guys uh, moved away from a little bit of shrimp, but you still guys keep a little well, bit of shrimp. Well, actually, here. my dad's still doing just the shrimp. I bought him out for the retail location. So oh, really? So yes. is he doing it downstairs? He's only, yeah, he's all downstairs. He still does his same setup. It's just now we're two separate Instead of really? I couldn't run. Is he Alpha Pro Breeders and you're Alpha Pro Pets? Yeah. Okay. That's exactly it. I couldn't run because I was running downstairs and upstairs yeah. and I couldn't do it anymore. So I was just like, what is it going to take for me to buy you out so I have one job? Right. Instead of two, basically. Okay, so that site with all those shrimp. Yeah, that's all, that's all still my dad. And I actually, I need, because I feel like that is hurting my business personally because people run and they see that. I don't have any fish available because it's all shrimp yeah. here towards the website. Uh, my hard goods, I've been carrying what I started with with what I have now is 10 volts. So on the website, you're not going to see anything that I have in store. Exactly, yeah. So I'm going to actually, very soon, I just started talking to my dad about doing this. He's going to set me up a website for this store. And I think I'm going to start closing Mondays and going online. Going online. So, so Monday will be my Sunday. Just okay, so I can okay. Get all my shipping done. Yeah, right. Awesome. So, uh, to buy shrimp from your dad and whatnot, you still have to go online. You yeah, can't it's just... best to definitely go online. Always, right. if you're local, you can always leave a note in the comment section saying, "Can I come in to pick this up?" And then just leave a time frame, and he'll he always gets back to you for you to come okay, in. Okay. Okay. But yeah, if you want shrimp, definitely do it online. Okay. I now, do carry a few shrimp up here, but nothing like what he has. Uh, yeah, yeah. The red the red cherries are really, really red compared to everybody else around here, so they're really beautiful. The cherries we don't sell just standard cherries. The grading like he like, breeds Securas as cherries. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you look like you have some painted fires and stuff like that. Yeah, he's got yeah. some nice stuff. So what made you get uh, open up a whole saltwater section? Saltwater, um color. Color? <laughs> And it's because they have extra room over there on that side? Yeah, it's actually, I'm going to be expanding that room too. Uh, there's a whole other half of that room that I'm going to be doubling that. And then my reptile room over here is going to uh -huh. all, I'll take that all down and turn that into a cichlid room. So a cichlid, cichlid room? This is going to be all community, small, and then salt water behind it. Oh, man. It's going to be completely separate. So that way when you come in. There's a sneak peek for you guys. It's going to be a lot easier to 
shop for a fish because I have so many customers. Can this go with this? Can this go with that? Yeah. Uh, they come in with a community tank wanting all my cichlids. So it's just going to be Okay, specific. don't fit that room with this room, exactly. please. <laughs> oh, man. And I hope to have that started by, what is this, January? So hopefully by June and July, once I get out of this, uh, the winter months here, I'm going to start building. Once it slows down in store, I'll be able to actually start doing okay. Okay. building on that room. Do you plan on shipping fish anytime soon or just purely retail? Uh, as soon as I can get my website up and running, is it going to determine when I can, when I'm going to actually start changing my hours. Right, so right. if I get the, it's just really going to depend on the amount of sales that I can actually do online. The best way to yeah. contact me is actually to get on uh, Facebook yeah. and search Alpha Profess and then just send me a message. I'm pretty much, that's how I run my business as far as all that goes. Um, cool. So this is Alpha Pro Pets. We opened uh, December 15th of 2016, made it through the first year and I don't really, I don't plan on closing anytime soon. Day, what a day. Alright. Oh, Steam Flight's live. Uh, let's make this quick. I wanted every episode of Fishful Fridays to be about a new local fish store. This week is about Alpha Pro Pets. I planned this whole thing today thinking I was gonna fly the drone, get an interview with him, but Fridays are one of his most busiest days and I did not want to bug the guy and any fish store owner because they have enough to deal with. He was packed when I got in there and he was helping so many people and by the time I got an interview with him and I was recording with him I didn't have my mic level up. Technical difficulties. See I got the new mic and everything got it all set up but I forgot to turn the microphone level up. So excuse the bad audio. Cameron's an awesome guy and um, I thank them very much for helping me get into, back into the fish um, hobby. Even though it wasn't fish, it was shrimp, he helped do that with his father. And every chance I get to support him, I can. I always want to you know, help support local fish stores, and uh, I think that's a very important thing. They are an extension of all these chain stores, Like, because without these chain stores, not a lot of people would know and get into the hobby. Uh, today I picked up five Amano shrimp from uh, Alpha Pro Pets, and uh, I just love that kind of shrimp because they're so hardy. I took them from a high TDS tank and high pH to a low TDS tank and low pH and they just molt and just redo everything and they're still alive downstairs with all those discus downstairs. So uh, they have five and they're cleaning up. I can see them cleaning up as we speak. All right, so uh, that's gonna be all for Fishful Friday. Tune in next week and uh, I'm gonna have Fishful Friday actually on a Monday because I'll be somewhere Saturday and Sunday. It's a special surprise and I think you guys are gonna love it. I'm just gonna go hang out and go watch uh, Bob here. He's live right now. So thanks for coming out. It's feeding time for uh, my Blue Moon Lobster. Uh, her name is Kelly Kapowski. I don't usually name my fish, but this crayfish I will name. She's sweet. Get it, get it. Oh, yeah.